بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَمٍ As-salamu alaykum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan Time. Alhamdulillah, it is another day of Ramadan and I am fasting today. I'm I am fasting tea. I am really grateful to Allah that he has given me the ability to fast. Okay. I remember at the beginning of Ramadan that I have made a promise to myself that I will do a good deed per day. Alhamdulillah, I have fulfilled my promise. A promise is made to show that you will definitely carry out an action. When you promise something, it is basically a verbal contract that you must fulfill. If a person does not fulfill his promise, then he is a liar because he has said something that he will not do. Let's move on to the good deed of the day. The good deed of the day. Compliment others with sincerity. Samiha, you know that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A person may say a word that is pleasing to Allah, and he may not think much of it, but Allah will, because of that word, bestow his pleasure upon him on the day of judgment. Let's move on to Hadith. عن أبي سعيد القضي رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من رأى منكم منكرا فليغيره بيده فإن لم يستطع فبلسانه فإن لم يستطع فبقلبه وذلك أضعف الإيمان Abu Sa'id al-Khudri reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Whoever among you sees evil, let him change it with his hand. If he is unable to do so, then with his tongue. If he is unable to do so, then with his heart. And that is the weakest level of faith. Now let's have a look at the lesson of this hadith. Number one, we should take action against something evil if we can. Number two, we should speak against evil if we can. Number three, but at the very least, we should detest the evil in our hearts. Number four, it shows the weaknesses of our faith. If we only hate the evil in our heart, but we do not do anything to stop it with our words or actions. Now, let's have a look at the discussion section. Samiha, I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to answer them, okay? Okay. Number one, what should we say or do if we see our classmate taking something from our teacher's handbag while she's gone? We need to tell the teacher. Yes. Number two, if we see or hear about something bad happening to someone in the newspaper, even though we cannot help that person by our words or actions, how should we feel or think about it? Happy. <laughs> no. We should hate that feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay? We should hate that something bad is happening to someone in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, how can you nicely tell your brother or sister that they should stop doing something bad? Mm -hmm. For example, if they are breaking their toys, what would you say? You would say, don't break it. Yeah, you would tell them nicely. You would say something like, Samiha, can you please not break it? <laughs> <laughs> and you should teach them in a gentle way. You should explain to them as well, okay? Don't do it angrily. Yeah, that's not very good, is it? Now that we've finished Hadith, we're going to move on to Sora Learning Time. So, Samiha, today you're going to say Surah Al Asr by yourself. Start with Aoud Billah. Aoud Billah, Mina Shaitan, Rajim, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Wal Asr, Inna Ni Insan, Lafi Khusir, Illa Lafi Na Amnu Wa Amnu Sari Hati Wa Tawasu Bil Haki Wa Tawasu Bil Sabr. Well done, Samiha, MashaAllah. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> Now that we finished Sora Learning Time, we're going to end the video. Assalamu alaikum everyone, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah, we'll see you again tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum everyone. <laughs> Alaikum.